Who was Godfrey de Bouillon? Oh, gosh. I love these simple questions. He was the inventor of the bouillon cube. No, he was not. All right. Even though that was, that's great. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> I know he was not the inventor of the bouillon cube. He was, instead, the uh, founder, or the founder of the um, head of the First Crusade. Um, he was a uh, he was the Lord of Bouillon, as you might have guessed, a castle on the Franco-Belgian border. Uh, he was Duke of Brabant, uh, descendant of Charlemagne, uh, and a hero in his own right. Uh, they used to say that there were nine uh, worthies, three pagan, three, uh, three Jewish, three Christian. And the three pagan ones were Hector, uh, Alexander, and Julius Caesar. Mm. The three Jews were Joshua, uh, David, and Judas Maccabeus. And the three Christians were Arthur, Charlemagne, and Godfrey de Bouillon. Wow, great company. I'll say. Uh, and when they took Jerusalem, and the Holy Sepulchre from the Saracens. He was offered the crown of Jerusalem to be king. And his response was, I will not wear a crown of gold where my Savior wore a crown of thorns. So, he uh, instead took the title Advocate of the Holy Sepulchre. Mm. Now, he died a couple of years later, and his brother... Around what time? Oh, 1091... Well, 1099, I guess, is when they took the city, and he died about 1101. It's funny, on all the, uh, what is it, the worthies, he's, every, everything, all of those are pretty old, but he's... He's the most recent. He's the most recent by far. Yeah, he's the most recent. Well, similarly, uh, they had four matters in medieval romance. Oh, right, right. The matter of Britain, which was about Arthur. The matter of Rome, which was the classic stories reworked. The Matter of France, which was about Charlemagne, and the Matter of Jerusalem, which was about the Crusades. Mm. Yeah, um, you know, it's funny. It's funny how nobody knows Godfrey de Bouillon, despite you know, all these things, and so despite being the most recent. Despite uh, being the one, well, because he epitomizes. See, we're the others. We can uh, epitomize what we aren't. We can at least make fun of them and pretend that they're mythical, mm. to some degree. Yeah. It's harder with Charlemagne than Arthur, but you know. Yeah. Uh, with Godfrey, he lived too soon, too more too recently, uh, and so he's a real person in a sense. Yeah. And he is the opposite of everything that we are. Yeah. You know, we're weak, stupid, and and, and uh, you know ridiculous. He was. The other thing about him that uh, well, I was going to say his brother did take the title of king of Jerusalem, but because of Godfrey's statement. He, uh, w no king of Jerusalem was ever crowned king in the Holy Sepulchre. They were crowned in Bethlehem, in the uh, ah. Basilica of the Nativity. Wow. And that had a, had a further meaning, in the sense that uh, it made sense to wear a crown of gold where the three kings had presented gold to our Lord. Ah, wow. He's saying where the king of kings was born. Uh, just to add some amusement, Godfrey de Bouillon founded in a sense, the uh, Order of the Knights of the Holy Sepulchre, who are still with us today. And the Order of the Holy Sepulchre are very important people. You want to know why? Why? Because uh, they, in a sense, do what Godfrey and his followers try to do. They're the ones who financially keep the Church of the Holy Land going. They're something like six-sevenths or seven-eighths or something of the Church of the Holy Land's budget his donations to the knights all around the world. Oh, wow. Because they're, they're, it's, it's a worldwide order. They all kick in dough, and the dough goes specifically. It's not, not like the Order of Malta, which funds a ton of stuff all around the world. Yeah. The, uh, the Order of the Holy Sepulchre specifically funds the Church of the Holy Land. And, uh, you know, if, if you look at the websites of different uh, Catholic churches over there, or schools, mm -hmm. You'll see things like uh, all the computers in the computer room were donated by the German Order of the Holy Sepulchre. You know, this sort of thing. So they not only dump cash into them, they buy the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the Holy Land things. Mm -hmm. So, really, I mean, it's, it's 
an order whose work I really applaud. Okay, yeah, I mean, they do a thankless job. Yeah, I'll say. Really? Well, you know, nobody wants us there, not the Jews, not the Muslims, not nobody. And so, but if you want to read more about Godfrey de Bouillon, this is the book to do it, Shameless Plug, published by Tumblr House, hello. Oh, is that a plug? Uh, I mean, this has, you know, Chivalry, The Everyday Life of the Medieval Knight. Um, this has, and, but it's not just Godfrey de Bouillon. Um, this has uh, Roland. Yep. It has a lot of other real-life knights. It was passed down from the, uh, the poet, the, the, uh, the oral tradition, yep. I, I want to say. The um, chanson de geste. And, but it, it, but it takes you into the everyday life of night. It tells you what they did when they woke up, uh, how they courted women, um, the ritual of uh, matrimony, everything. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really an incredible book. Um, and it has a wonderful foreword. Oh, yeah, by who, wait, I forgot by, who the foreword was by. Hugh, oh, it's you! Uh, ah, I was going to say Hugh Hefner, but never mind. <laughs> yes, it is me. It's not Hugh Hefner, no. Uh, okay, so buy that book. Uh, sells 25 bucks on Tumblr House website, or you can get it on Amazon for 30 If you ever get the chance to go to that part of the world, uh, the Castle of Bouillon and the, the beautiful Ardennes around it are just very nice.